Hi, my name is Aidan Barnard. I was born in Norwich in the UK in 1986. I currently live in Bristol with my wife and my two kids. Growing up in Norwich, I was always um, strongest uh, at art and design at school. Um, it was my favourite subject by far. After my A-levels, I did an art foundation course at Norwich School of Art and Design, uh, where I discovered more about animation and video art and graphic design, illustration, photography. Uh, I got to try all kinds of great uh, creative disciplines. At that time I was into video games and um, Japanese anime and music videos and uh, I wanted to pursue animation as, as my main art form um, because I felt it was the best of all art forms combined together into one. I then moved to Maidstone um, and studied an animation degree at the University College of Creative Arts. Studying animation uh, gave me a real insight into breaking motion down and the timing of motion down um, to really emphasize um, what you're trying to um, make live as a living character or a living object. When I finished my course in Maidstone I then moved to Bristol and um, found work as a graphic designer and 3D designer. I also moved from doing animation in my free time to um, doing more illustration and logo design and graphic design um, as well as some photography. I've also always been quite an active person. Um, I did a lot of cycling, um, starting with BMX as a teenager and then lots of mountain biking when I moved to Bristol. Um, I, I also do skating and running and um, I really enjoy being outdoors in woodland or on long walks in the hills. My background has given me um, a, an eye for detail and um, an appreciation for the outdoors and nature and how it can make us feel. The abstract art that I create now has a little piece of all the different um, disciplines that I've studied and worked with over the years um, within it. It's a, a distillation of of the motion of animation and the geometry from graphic design and and painting with light from photography. Um, also the the drawn marks within my works are not dissimilar from the illustrative line that I learnt when drawing um, comic characters. One of my biggest influences is Katsuhiro Otomo, um, the Akira film and the Akira comics are just m mind blowing, um, the detail that that he draws is incredible and his world building um, is just outstanding. Another artist that stands out to me as a, as a big influence is Mark Rothko. Um, I went on a visit to the Tate when I was probably about 18 or 19 um, and I stumbled across the, the, Marth, the Mark Rothko um, red on maroon paintings and didn't really understand what I was looking at but I remember feeling this very strange um, overwhelming feeling I, I can't really describe it but it's always stuck with me um, 
Vasily Kandinsky is another influence of mine. His way of converting music into visual art um, and the feeling of listening to music um, into a, a painting is is something that I I try to do myself. Right now, I'm focusing on how to refine my style and um, also how to upscale um, to produce larger, um, more more stunning pieces. I find the biggest challenge of being an artist is having time to do everything. The advice I would give my younger self is to get out of bed and go and see more art and go and experience the world. In terms of unconventional techniques or mediums, I, I guess working on predominantly black paper or dark colored paper is, is kind of unconventional. Um, I like it because I, I like my paintings to be um, a sort of painting of light. I like to listen to music, especially before I start a painting. Um, I, I like post metal and uh, hip hop and electronica and all kinds of weird atmospheric music. I think atmosphere is key for getting into a, a kind of relaxed um, state for painting. My father-in-law is a vicar and his reaction to one of my pieces was one of the best. He said that it reminded him of the book of Genesis and creation as a whole, which was a, an amazing comment. I hope that people viewing my paintings can take away a strong feeling of joy, maybe inspiration, and a, a strong memory that stays with them. Um, for a long time. My next exhibition is at the Totterdown Canteen um, in BS4 Bristol. Um, it will be from the end of March 24 running through into April. Thank you very much for listening and thanks to Art by Artists. Uh, keep up the good work.